This is my newest acquisition. This is a 1975 Motoski Nuvik 300. Um, yeah. Anyways, it's it's in pretty decent shape. Just got a little teeny rip in the seat, but it's been recovered. Um, I actually traded my XLT for this thing because I found out that the crankshaft was twisted. So the motor, and that's pretty much bad. So I mean, it still runs decent, but. That kid, the kid I got this from, he was asking 550 for it. That's what I was asking for my my sled, so that's what I gave him. Uh, he's got bogeys. Uh, this is the one-year Nuvik hood. They only had this one, this type hood for 75. In 76, they made them look more like the uh, they look more like the Olympics. Uh, open the hood here. The hood isn't in the greatest shape, but I mean, it's not that bad. The hinge isn't that dirty on there, and I think, I guess that duct tape's holding the headlight in, but other than that, uh, it's in pretty decent shape. It's, I was surprised it rides pretty decent on hard pack, and it's actually pretty fast for a little 300. Uh, type 305 engine. Like I thought, 295 cc's, but it has a Tillotson carburetor, which is the first Tillotson I've ever had. Uh, I'm not really sure what size carb it is, but I'll figure it out eventually. Um, yeah, this is how the Olympic we had should have been set up, but it had the that Polaris motor rigged into it. But I mean, it's got all new gas lines and everything. The lights work. It's got this toolbox, which I guess is original. It looks original. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, got, I got some oil, uh, spare plugs. I don't know what the heck that is. It says extra light on it. Uh, a couple screwdrivers, probably for uh, adjusting carburetor. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, it runs really good for a 75 it's in pretty nice shape so I think yeah you're gonna say I got screwed over trading this thing for a 95 XLT 600 but I've always wanted well ever since we had that Olympic just like this basically I've always wanted one of these and I always I've always kind of preferred the moto ski versions over the ski do versions anyways so let me close this toolbox here if I can get it to close deal with that later. Oh, oh, there we go. I didn't have it in there. Right? There. Uh, yeah, so it's got all the air box and crap on it. It doesn't have a regular kill switch. It just has the key. Um, yeah, anyways. The key. Which is the bombardier key. It's actually the guy drove all the way down here to Cavendish, Vermont from Lancaster, New Hampshire, which is way up north, and it's like, uh, I want to say it's like two and a half hours away from here. Uh, let's see. Built in October 1974. So, yeah, it's a 75. One year only. Hood. And really, it is not does not look like it's been used much because there's barely any paint worn off these running boards in here is really really clean it's still got the muffler heat shield on it and all that uh, I mean the hood ain't perfect but it's all there and it runs pretty decent and the key on here it doesn't really like to idle I gotta turn the idle up a little bit I guess here I'll set that down for a minute lights work uh, it's in really really decent original condition I to be honest I think it was worth it 
It runs really good when I first got it. I don't think it had been started the whole time. Uh, three primes fired right up one pull. It runs really nice. It's in decent shape. And I think I'm going to like it a lot. The XLT, I mean, the... I've already put too much money into it, and with the engine problems, it just really ain't worth the work. And if the chassis in this thing ever goes bad, that is getting the 503 in it. And actually, this has got the older style one driver track on it, which I think is kind of neat, because the sled itself is a bombardier design, but the moto skis had the one driver track. So, yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. It's in decent, it's a nice sled.